All right. Hello and welcome back to some more uh, Dark Side Detective. I'm uh, I'm gonna be doing the. They released an extra case around Christmas, so I wanted to really get that out of the way before I stream anything else. You know. <laughs> All right, so uh, give me just a second to set everything up. I got everything where I need it to be. Okay. All right, it's called The Ghosts of Christmas Past. Case summary. Celebrating the season with Dooley and his family. It's going to take me a second to get all the... I remember what Dooley's voice and stuff sounds like when I do it. Luckily, I just made a... Uh, the queen, uh, my voice. <laughs> Dinner's ready, boys. Finally. Oh, wait. Hey there, detective. Yeah. Okay. Finally. A turkey's just been, uh, a turkey looked at me funny back in July, and I've been carrying a guard around ever since. Turkey for an eye. Turk eye for an eye. That's what the good book says. The good book. Turkin. It's a revenge story about a turkey with a particular set of skills. Very good. How would call in the middle of the night? <sighs> Down tools, everyone. Down tools, everyone? What? None of us turkey until us all, all of us turkey. You can't be serious. If I so, some, so much as see a scratch on the turkey, I'll frisbee it out into the raccoons in the pool, and we'll watch them die instead of a movie. She's serious. Hello? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's for you, Francis. Hello? Sorry for calling out such a bad time, Detective. But the Chief has an urgent case for you. Okay, Dooley, grab your pants. Most wonderful day of the year, my ass. And what's all this about, Detective? There's a protest happening outside a citizen's house. A protest? Then why isn't McKing being sent? He loves to crack skulls. The Chief doesn't seem to think cracking skulls is gonna work here. Well, Turkey stays warm for two hours and it's 15 minute drive home. I'm giving this case a 90 minutes and no longer. What on earth? What do we want? The Passover! When do we want it? Before Passover! Ghost of man, tired ghost, tired ghost, and ghost of woman. I, I gotta look at the, the Popo Moto. But we shouldn't leave until we know what's going on. I just wanted to examine it. Hmm. Surely boarding up windows wouldn't help. Yeah, they're going to release another two uh, cases after this one. So, I'm looking forward to that. We're dead, not rude. Uh, let's see. Now, what's going on here? We want to move on. We're sick of being ghosts. It's been ages since we died. Limbo's all tied up in red tape, and it's all because of the man who lives here. We want him to undo whatever he did so we can move on to whatever comes next. Roderick? Oh, I'm so sorry. What, what happened? Ah, don't worry about it. I died as I lived, watching Abraham drift race stolen cars. Turns out he's not as fast as the brakes, uh, as he used to be. Oh, hey. Hi. You look, uh, well? Thanks. It's been a while. Yeah. This is awkward, right? A little, yeah. But oh, hey, I want you to know I didn't, you know, fake ghost you. I for real did. Really? Oh, yeah, I was gonna call, and then well, this happened. And so long, just, it passed by that the time I was corporeal, it just seemed, you know, too long. I understand, so you're ghost now? Not for much longer, I hope. Sign a petition, join a bullion, haunt a house, but it's hard to know if these things really have any real impact. I'd cross my fingers, but they just go through one another now. Hey, about tired ghost. Hey, where did you guys get placards? I can't hold anything. I was in a traffic pileup between a truck delivering wooden stakes and one delivering square pieces of cardboard. I stole mine from a ghost of an activist. They protested, but it was peaceful, so I won. Alright. Dooley, what do you think? Huh. I can see why smashing heads wouldn't work. Okay, let's go inside. Gary? Gale! Uh, oh. Looks like the jig is up. Who's the kid? That's the Wean. Or Wayne. He's a right handful. Always talking back to his father with a time rebuttal and a window for following up statements. Ah, uh, tis my own fault. Should never let him get with that dangerous debating club. It's an articulate wild cannon now. Wait. The Gale was his wife already? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. 
Huh. Nice place you have here. A tad more haunted than I'd go for, but teach zone. Hmm. I guess it's not a builder's house without a bits box. We're required to have them by law. Mind if I take a souvenir? Help yourself. I'm gonna be fucking up the voices all over the place. I got that for the Wii and never opened it. Had a loose screw, rusted blade, oil soaked rag, uh, oil soaked rag in sight. I just don't know what to do with the lad. Right. Let's talk to. Huh. That now I built from wood and gasoline and a blowtorch. Hey, where'd you learn all that, Gary? Oh, wait, no. Damn it. Doing switching accents. Shitty accents. Hard. <laughs> Hey, where'd you all... Oh, no, my God. Detective. Detective. Uh, where'd you learn all that, Gary? Wish I was more handy around the house. I don't think Patricia would appreciate this. Uh, Dr. Gale. How come I can see you now with that magic goggles? Uh, that was part of a ri uh, ritual Gary did bring us back. Made us right visible, too. Oh, Gary, Gary, Gary. You can't be fucking around with death. I don't want to brag. My lights have shades over them. Detective, there's a foot in here. It's okay. It's just mine. Gary misunderstood when I said to bring back me a stocking. I hesitate to ask this, but was it naturally red? It were not, no. Built up myself out of bits of other trees. It's a terrible handy, my Gary. Are those boxes or receipts under your tree? They're for the way in. He's in the rebellious accountancy phase. Uh, I remember those days. Staring up late, uh, late nights, balancing books, collecting discarded recipe, uh, receipts from bins, sneaking off to do lines. Eh? In my spreadsheet application of choice. Oh. All right, well. Here's a question of... Gary, you want to explain what's going on? Not really? Why are the ghosts outside your house? Uh, uh... Might have accidentally, mind you, broken the afterlife. Damn it. What? Why? I want a Miguel back. She's the light of my light world, Detective. And the Wien, she's he's got all weird and bookly since her accident at the dangerous explosions factory. In hindsight, I think they were a bad place to get to work. How did you break it? Well, earlier in the year, I was working at a switchboard. I heard tell down to the pub one night that we used to talk to the other side. Well, long story short, I used the same energy to cross over and steal a number from their ticket machine. Ghosts kept arriving, but the system was stuck waiting forever. Me, who had the current number to come to the desk. I didn't, eh? All the while, the backlog of ghosts were building up. Once they were large enough to burst through the other side, and I had Miguel back. And a lot of other ghosts who didn't want to return. Aye, that too. How did you even get in there? I got some help from a right stand-up bloke. A mystical chap by the name of... It's gonna be Mr. Wang, isn't it? You know him, then. They were able to show me how to create a backdoor into afterlife. Maybe you can help me do something similar. If I can fix the machine, I might be able to get the ghosts moving again. Alright. Police detective. If you're gonna fix this, let me keep Miguel. I'll do what I can, Gary. Can't promise anything. But this also explains uh what's her name who was dating that one ghost. And why he stuck around. Yeah, okay. Huh. Uh I talked to Dewey here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta go. Up the pub mobile. We gotta go to probably Pier Thirteen. That's where Wings is. These robotic turkeys are a wonderful meat-free alternative for a Christmas dinner, and as an added bonus, they come with a kill mode off by default. I think. Did you worn a jacket? Why? Point. Oh, hey, look. Circular candy cane. Nope, never mind. Uh, hey there, fellow humans. I hope you're enjoying this miserably cold time of year instead of hibernating through, like, one of those silly, cozy bears. <laughs> I'm sure I'm enjoying being wet half the day and spending the other half staring at a sad lamp to feel anything. We as a species sure have things figured out. So, uh, what's a log, log doing at the tech shop? That's a Zool log. You power it off of souls and nearly summons a bean to bring about the end of the world. That still seems out of place at a tech shop. These are tiny cameras they used to peep inside your home. That can't be legal. 
What? I'm upfront about it. So what are these? I heard some smart glasses were the new big thing, so I wish I'd done some researches before uh, before bulk buying all of this. What one? It's on the house. I can't shift. Sure? Got a smart glass. Smart beaker. If it's so smart, why isn't it working on Wall Street instead of living in your coat pocket, eh? One heating element. The heating element's scientific name is fire. Alright, I think we're going inside. Wait. Okay, go back for a second. Gotta leave the ship wheel. Do you think the ha captain who uses this to steer has long legs or arms? Option three. Average limbs and a big torso. Game devs in need of work. Call, oh, please. Seriously. Please call. Christmas cookies? Give the people what they want. Oh boy, oh my god. <laughs> There's a note saying, gone for the holidays. Guess who's getting Scrooge this year? It's you. Your racist uncle just confirmed he's coming to dinner. Nobody got you anything. You're going to overcook your turkey. Santa's dropping a log down your chimney this year. Nobody likes the gifts you bought them. I think that's all of them. All right. I always wonder what was in the box. Turns out it's a litter tray. So what's in these? No idea. Potluck. They're definitely not filled with evidence I need to get rid of. Can you afford to buy them all and check? You know that I can't. What's this? Oh, that's a large brass. Mind your own business. It's not for sale. You're looking to buy? If not, no looking. Those lights only have so much lumens to go around. So who's this cutie? That's my cat. Here it is. All right, let's talk, Wing. Oh, wait. Ah, crap. What? I just thought of something. What? Nothing? Unrelated? Which which of these things in Mr. Wing's shop do you like the most? I need you to answer and then leave for five minutes. <laughs> so what do you want? Aren't you banned from here for destroying those poor young girls' business? What's this now? Nothing. Wing, you made me do that. Likely story a police officer listened to a lowly shopkeeper as myself. His story checks out, Detective. Hmm. Wang. Gary tells me you helped him get into limbo? How? I need to follow him and fix what he, uh, whatever he did. There's a rift I can't enter. I'm alive, but I want to not be alive for only a little while. Oh, I'll help you with this, actually. What? Really? Yeah, a family of Irish ghosts moved into the apartment next to mine. And their wailing's keeping me up at night. Take the spirit still there. You can use it to distill your spirit from your body. Then you'll be able to use Gary's Rift. And I can come back? Probably? What am I, your horoscope? Look, you're made of three basic parts. The body, the soul, and the glue that binds. As long as you have glue left, it's sticky, you're good. On that note, bring something to hold glue in. Oh, I got a smart glass. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to find glue then. Um... This is still? Yeah, now look, Detective, I know we're one another's arch nemesis. That's not true. And that I'm the slippery eel you just can't catch. Also not correct. And now I have you over a barrel, but I enjoy constantly winning this game of cat and mouse. Which I am both the cat and the mouse. Some sort of freakish mouse-cat hybrid. And you're the onlooker, too confused to catch or be caught by me. W where is this going? But I'm feeling sentimental. This isn't how I want our story to end. We, we have no story. So one word of warning. Whatever... My uh, whoever minds your glue, make it somebody reliable. I call dibs. We had a good run. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I had a good laugh there. Whatever you believe in, speed, detective. Uh, need some glue. Uh, on you know, I don't know why I expected people's trash to be more fun at Christmas. All the glitter, I guess. So, uh, we're going up there. It feels like the beginning of a slash affair. Warning, the site was destroyed by a governmental body, so we left it before the job was done. Any failure to continue living due to accessing the site is, like, totally not the government's fault. That sounds about right. The pipe still seems to have water running to it. Oh, wait. I need a way to heat up the water. I'll just loosely put this here and there, and somehow it'll be just enough to connect them thoroughly. 
fixing the device. This detective thing doesn't take care of. You could get work as a handyman. All right, got a bread still. One spill is still not complete with heating functionality. If I connect this here, I should be able to get this up and running. Huh. This is one of those tidiest city funded demolition sites I've seen. Same. That was just not been noticed or reported before now. Twin Lakes has a rat problem, sure, but not the furry kind. I hope this works. A very disappointing case if it didn't. Uh, I gotta bring glue, don't I? It goes nothing. I think it worked. No, we really should arrest Wang. He's in breach of so many laws. Huh, there I am. Feels like I should be more concerned looking at my own dead body. Why would you be worried? Your old pal Mies looking out for you. You know. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Should I, uh, should I call an ambulance? No, 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 don't do that, Dewey. No, 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 I shouldn't. This is what was meant to happen, I think. Ah, this is so scary. I hope you're okay, detective. Why can't he hear me? Harry Zertro made ghost of us among less. Are you messing with me, Dooley? Oh yeah, 100%. Now go solve this thing. My turkey isn't going to stay warm forever. All right. I'm going through. Look after my body in essence, Dooley. Detective, it's me you're talking to. Of course I'm going to do whatever it is you just said to me. <laughs> right. Limbo. Hopefully this won't take too long. Tinsel, maybe? Huh. They drug test in limbo? Here we see early Grim Reapers who used rakes instead of scythes. Harvesting souls that was less pleasant for everyone back then. Oh, harvesting souls was less pleasant. Yeah. Don't pet the snake. She's agitated. What's it gonna do? Bite me? I'm already dead. Oh, smart man, is it? Mr. Funny Hair can state the obvious, obvious can he? What's wrong with my hair? Look, of course she can't kill you, but she's still venomous. You could still feel pain and... This time, without the sweet release of death to make it go away. Take it from somebody who knows. Not somebody you, something you want. Is she always like this? No, no, she's just hungry. Been here for a long time, and I didn't think to pack snacks before she killed me. No. No what? No talking. I cannot talk and play the flute to keep her calm. This one's extinguished. Must have died putting out a fire. And this is stuck on the number for the ticket Gary stole. I don't think I need a ticket. That's not the bit that Gary broke. I need to get the mechanics and, well, move it up one. Oh, is anyone there? I want to talk to you about the ticket machine. Shh, you're laying the snake. How don't anyone come to the front desk. Closed. For the holidays. But I can see and hear them. They're having a festive celebration before they head home for the season. It's gotten wild. It's all that I can do to stop the snake from going off one. Hmm. I can see a turquoise portal in there. If I can find a way to the other end. I can slip into the back office and move the number up, display up one. Huh. It's as bleak as it is barren. I wonder if that leads up to the back office. Or to the portal that leads to it. Only one way to find out. What's over there? What the hell? I don't like that thing. And it's many eyes all watching me. I'm not risking another one of those showing up. I wonder if that leads to the... Wait, wait, wait. Go up the worm? Now, who doesn't have a pot to piss in, eh, Dad? <laughs> uh, oh, I need his... No, I think I need to feed him. There's no point going back until I have this problem fixed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get that man's snake charmers like a... Uh... Chirping sound come from over here. Crickets, maybe? All right, get the urn beaker. Chirping sound. Sorry, you lot. Hope your crickety affairs are in order. Ghost crickets. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, wait, wait, back in here. Need the snake. There you go, little lady. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Cheers for that. I've been playing that for my uh, for an age. My cheeks are fit to fall off. Would you massage them? 
Fine, here, hold this while I do it myself. Thanks for that. Time to tame the worm. Let's hope this works. Hmm. Guess I can climb this kid in that window now. This doesn't feel like that much of a victory. A lot of portals here, but they all seem close, bar one. Seems to be close. Be close. Close. Okay. Uh, in case of a rogue soul, break glass. What's this for? Am I in caveman times? Shh. It's bound to happen any second now. Take your seat. See some air for. You didn't have time to carve any. That was a totem to bright ball skin burn. A symbol of my faith, if you will. Of course, this blasted thing fell from the spurt above mound, uh, above the mound and caved my flimsy skull in. Really bums me out to see it. Maybe you take it away. I would. Only I think that creepy chap in the black would sneak in the cave, you see. Well, this... This is a fine mess I found myself in, is it? Must be some sort of tools he used to make the cave below. Huh. Something to the far side of the hill. Super brilliant, brilliant job. Really stellar work. Now you'll miss the end of the party. I knew I should have topped up my hip flask before warping back here. Well, if he won't let me back in, I guess I'll live here now. I'll need to forge my well, well. Nothing, I guess. One of the perks of being dead. Uh, hello? Oh, another ghost. You seem like an awfully well-dressed chap for a Neanderthal. But well, you're on your own. Make your own way to limbo. I'm done with reaping. After this, they'll have my sight. Row two. Not the hourglass, mind you. That's not part of the outfit. Bought that myself. A memento. Me memento. Memento. I mean memento of my reaping for my 1,000th soul. Are you drunk? I remember it well. His name was Susan. And she was a, a Victorian woman from 1027 Jerusalem. You know what? I'm not sure if I remember it at all. Anyway, pleased to meet you. I'm Charles Dickinson. And this is where we die if we weren't already dead. Charles Dickens, the author? Author slash harvester of souls. Until today, that is. What happened today? Well, between me and you, I was a, probably a little... Like, um, little bit drunk when I spun up the portal in. It's Christmas, you see, and we were having a Christmas party. Anyway, the bloody thing opened inside this mound we're sitting on, and the soul I'm here to harvest won't come with me, or let me go back in until he sees the sun. And you made this portal from the party itself? Oh yes, from the office, where the party was well underway. I got a last minute death notification. I should have done it by the book. But the archivist was giving me the look, you see. I think she wanted to jump my literal bones, so I took a risk. So if we satisfy the caveman's ghost, we can go through and get back to the office? <laughs> you almost make it sound like some kind of puzzle that's solvable in a few easy steps, rather than the, the perilous, doomed situation that it is. But what do I have to lose? Whatever it is that you're about doing, I'm in. Alright, buddy. Come on, Chuck. I know a protagonist when I see one. Lead the way. Alright. What an awful thing has happened to my chum. Fear not, Yule. Once Brightwall Skinburn has shown his shiny eyeballs into your dank earth lump, my first act will be to bury you inside. Such a good chap, Bongo. He stood for me as years, uh, for years as I undertook the great work. I preferred he'd help, of course, but at least he was there. That support I was in the back office. Just need to slip through. Sorry, I can't allow that. See that yo chap in the sky there? Sun? 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 That's a quaint name for a god. We call him Brightball Skinburn. Anyhow, it's my light's work to build this ritual site for him, you see. And I just couldn't let anyone step in before him. It would just seem rude, you know? So until Brightball Skinburn bestows his glorious pain rays down to illuminate the sacred mound, it's off limits. After that, it will be a few dollars a visit, I suppose. But when I access, I need to appease you all by getting the light of the sun to shine it. Let's have a look at the sun, though. I'm no scientist, but I think that's not a br 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 brilliant g good idea. Oh, yeah? 
But it fucking is. Not the suggestion like that, and you're going, oh, wait, 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 okay. Yule's log, symbol of his faith. One of humankind's earliest tools, a sort of pointed hammer. That stone makes standing look so easy. You're struggling because you're drunk. Give me a break, I'm literally legless. Bah humbug, now, nah, let's see, um, can I not put that on top? Hard for the race to ever shine into the tomb. Now you see the dial, Emma. Sorry, dilemma. <laughs> we should just make a life of things here. We can be happy. We've got each other for company. I'm not giving up that easily. I am. I just need a light source and a race platform to fake the sun's wide angle. Easy. Hey, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, right. Well, I've opened the rest of the portals. There's more, of course. Billions of them. One for every moment through time. I was the one open in the first place. Well, this is the normal way we travel. We have portals for every moment and every era of time. Sorry, every era. <laughs> took a, I took a back way because I did. I don't have to answer to you. I'm the Reaper. You're the soul. Back off. But, 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 but this room must have sensed I was inside of a time, so it opened the portal. It's a smart side. So they log souls. Open portholes, record our calorie intake, and send us IM notifications from work. It's a nightmare, really. Any message at all hours from the European and Chinese Reapers. Spirit Containment Unit. Have you ever had to use one of these? Had to? No. All these spinning lights. I think I'm gonna... Uh, got a red rift, yellow rift, or green rift. Indigo. Okay, let's start with the red. Is this the Jurassic era? The souls were reaping here. Dinosaurs are people too. That's that's not true. Oh, that would explain why I didn't have to come here much. Where are these dragons' wings? This is no dragon. It's a Brachiosaurus. Fine, Jonathan, science me. Where are this Brachiosaurus's wings? Hmm. Looks like you and Bongo have a lot of work ahead of them, but also sort of behind them. To think these mighty beasts evolved into Pomeranians. That... Ah, uh, don't don't argue with me. I know Charles Darwin. We play ghost chess once a month. Or you ask. It's like normal chess. But the pieces fall through the board. Hmm. So here seems very fertile. That's because the dinosaurs remains. Hmm. I think I want to come back with something like that. The ground here is damp, warm, and soft. What's wrong with insects? I don't want to go there yet. Huh. What is this? When America was first discovered. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. When America was first discovered, Vikings landed there during the Great Migration Period around 1000 AD by mistake. This isn't them. This is like the second or third time Vikings landed. A very less significant event. Huh. What's a boat, especially what looks like a Viking boat, doing on the hill? Hello, fellow dead. Hey, so uh, what happened here? <laughs> a funny story, actually. We were out viking about, you know, looking for monasteries to raid and lost sheep to plunder. When this rude storm came out of no place, it sucked the ship right out of water and spun us for the longest time. Of course, for me, it did not feel so long. The oars stabbed me in the livable. When a ghost me woke up, we were here, wherever he is. Not that it matters to me. I presume that hung hung hungover looking man are here to take me to Valhalla. Well, yes, but more in a real and important way, no. Don't listen to him, but designated Bahalanite will be with you soon. We're here to catalog your ore since he killed with such a mighty warrior. Oh, here to go then. I just wait here for the Valkyrie to come, so. Yes, yeah, Valkyrie, that's the word I meant. Solid wooden ore with a broad, flat head. Hello, fellow dead. Any sign of Valkyrie? Only I'm quite bored of being dead, you know. The gods have sent us to this new land to spread their word and begin new lives. Chief Skole. Well, not Sven. They sent him here to die. Ah. I like how she's, uh, like a parody of their actual, like, police chief. What's the damage? Olaf ship fingers. <gasps> it doesn't look good. You see here, right here where the big hole is? I see it, I see it. Well, that shouldn't be here. It's the wrong place. For a hole, I mean. When we crashed in the seal, the hole just crumbled. 
You're lucky it held that long. The whole thing was infested with termite. Oh no. Will it cost much to repair? Cost much, Chief. You can't have all the gold and silver known worlds and they do you no good. They're too heavy. And the boat would sink. No, you need wood. And we don't know where the nearest forest is. To think all these shields and they did nothing to protect us from the storm. Got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. The chief loves a good drum circle. I wonder if there's anything we do to fix a broken one. I won't let the wind blow these away a second time. She's stopping me from taking them. I need to distract her if I want it. Do I want a broken drum that badly? Of course we want a broken drum that badly. I've discarded rotten wood. That's the kind of thing I make use of. The wood is floating away. Not when heal the guard is on guard. And guard. Damn it. Guess if I want wood, I need to get rid of her. Could try trading her some sheep? I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I guess I'll just loiter around all this broken stuff for no re reason at all. Damn you, Hildegard. Huh. You seem to be mapping out the stars these animal skins. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Sorry. It's a good night for mapping the stars, Shaman. We honor our ancestors by recording their place in the cosmic spider web. We should honor him by living in the present, not by recording his past. Child, do not make me build some steps so I have somewhere to send you to time out. Oh, Hotten and Cheyenne. Ah, I do not want to be drawing an animal skin. I want to be playing music on them. Those guys on the hill know what's what. Crashing boats, singing and rocking out. They seem to be mapping out. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I need, I need the broken drum for her to get the animal skin. Those fun hats suggest we're visiting the Puritan. Why does your cat only have one eye? It got poked out on my pointy hat. It's okay, though. It gives him more of a mystical vibe. Oh, no, that's Bridget. Sorry. Damn it. But that's like a Baba Yaga house. Does your hat have chicken legs? No. No, not chicken legs. They're far more troublesome legs of a goose. Onk. <laughs> What's in here now? It's a special winter brew, traveler. One in which the milk of a cow, the egg of a chicken, and the brandy I stole from the house party are mixed in together. Here, lost and pitiful boy, take this glass so its heat can warm your stray soul and the dairy can coat your heart. Hey, it's eggnog. Yes, the nog of an egg. That's a better name than what I came up with. Raw egg slime. Now with only 54% chance of salmonella. She doth make it me feel uneasy. Uneasy? Uneasy. I doth mean dothly. Me thusly, for she wears it a vibrant colors of the old festive season, and singeth merry folk songs and uh and canteth canteth would he just dislike of her being a womanly folk and dispense with elderly uh otherly excuses. Nay, brother, we must be wagging our fingers and vocal in our condemnation of our happiness and cheer. Tis ungodly to find joy in the supposed birthday of the Son of God. Ah, it so happens she female, but that is subtext. Better keep her down with confusing moral uh, stance than any words of truth. What's a uh, termite mound doing up here? And where did it come from? Termites, presumably. Presumably. <laughs> huh. Best to drink from eggs. And apparently that's something people like. I just think it ectoplasm in my mouth. I think I just ectoplasm in my mouth. Yeah, well, that's because... What am I going to do it? Ah! No. Uh, I was going to get the termites. Uh, we haven't actually talked to her. Welcome, Pilgrim. You've journeyed far to get here, even if some ways you've not traveled very far at all. You could see me? Us? I see many things, and to be clear, yes, that includes you too. Oh, I get it. Pointy hat, collar turn, cat, you're a wi- <sighs> Woman who brews and sells beer, yes. Haha, <laughs> that's the only potion on sale here, yes sir. Hmm, you dealt a speaker to the very air itself. Likely she communes with the slash, eh, uh, with A slash the devil. Bugger, I forgot they can't see you. Um, leave them alone for a second and go through the indigo. This looks to be the Gilded Era? Home sweet home. Sort of. I mean, we're only five to six hundred miles off. We're practically there. I'm sorry, son. I need to pull a quadruple ship in the misery factory. That misery doesn't manufacture itself, you know. That's okay, father. Do you think the extra money will pay for an operation or remove all the extra bones from my body? Extra... Money? <laughs> hmm, I have a bucket-shaped hole in my coat that needs filling. 
Oh, you actually- Whoa, you actually do! <laughs> oh, Father. I hope that one day we can afford a real house. This one is sticky and doesn't keep the damp out. At least we have the rats to keep us warm. We'll need those rats, son. I have bad news. The wall was caved in. I've tossed some behind the house in the hopes that it will attract more rats to cuddle. I'm going to take that, but only in the hopes to use it and make these people's lives better. Sure. What? I'm serious. Look, buddy, we've all told ourselves lies to justify stealing someone's gingerbread wall. But you're not better than me. You'll be in your pants at 3 a.m. Drinking that kid, dunking that kid's house and some warm milk. I'm going to make the lies better. You'll sob as you spill milk on your naked chest. You disgust me. <laughs> Okay, uh, can, can I go to the factory? Whatever they're making there is pumping out the thickest, blackest smoke. I think it's actually a smoke factory. Very popular in my day. Um, <laughs> small for his age, Sam, and bobber crunch it. Oh, I love it. I do like a good depressing factory at Christmas. Actually, I didn't get to see what you say when you just went up. I visited America myself, you know. Didn't like the place. Don't know why I brought it up. Maybe because you're forcing me to revisit in a series of different times. Why didn't you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Why didn't you use the orange pour here to go home? And go home soulless? I'd be laughed at the gentleman society of soul scavengers. No chance. This is exciting to be back at the beginning of all things. You're thinking of the Big Bang. I don't think so. I'm a Victorian. We're very prudish. Uh, the Gilded Age. Ah, Violet. Huh. This is the switchboard. Back for was lined up for demolition. You know what? There's a great story in seeing the different lives of a place as over time. This is not that story. You could write it, though. What makes you think that? Huh. A hippie van. I should check it for narcotics. Sadly, there's nothing. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I did find this neat torch. Now it's mostly the best of times. It's broken, however. And we're back to being mostly worst. Yeah, 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 do the extra case. Yay! Thanks for subscribing out. Huh. In great irony, we'll now have to steal Meryl's acorns. Oh, well, now we'll steal Meryl's acorn. I don't know any of these peoples. Don't drag me into this. A seance. Oh, I love these. Let's possess them and make them kiss. I'm... I'm not going to do that. Lame. I hope we are successful in Somnia. I want to ask Sidon guidance of what you're doing there. That's right, I forgot Meryl. Holy shit. That's right, she was in the, uh, I... Oh my god, yeah, yeah, it was the whole... Episode with the, um... Uh... Where we were fixing up the precinct. They had to bait and switch with the, the squirrel and the, the acorn. Acorn's a seed, you know. Oh yeah, it's just a little fun joke. It's not. Torch with no power supply. All my time being Blood Wolf and, adja and Blood Wolf adjacent Spain off. If I can get some salty water, copper and zinc, I know how to make a battery. Why not just get a new battery? This is your first adventure game, isn't it, Charles? The glass wall from a gingerbread house. Unsurprisingly, it was structurally unsound. I'm not gonna- I'm going to help them. An old bucket. Bucket that was already old when I picked up in Gilded Era. I wonder how this would be carbon date. I hope this works. I found a ritual in the book in the library. Huh, looks like they're trying to perform a ritual. So how exactly are we gonna summon this festive spirit? Shh, It's an abstract personification of collective human ideal, Derek. Not a cat. Well, when my cat goes missing, I get its favorite things together and put them outside. Smell usually helps her find her way home. Again, not a cat. I think he's onto something, though. If we can bring together the elements of a season, maybe we can lure it in here? Can we say some magic words? Derek, we're summoning a thing. Of course we're going to say magic words. God! So, what are the elements of season? I guess stuff you associate with the holidays? I bet there's five elements, because, you know, pentagram. I mean, we don't have anything better to go on, but it seems like a very random guess. Intuition. A fair point. Alright, got some eggnog. Uh, ghoul slog. I have to work on this. Oh, hey. Why is this machine filled with toads? Where else would you get them? Wait, you have a toad guy? Can you hook me up? Huh. 
This little fellow caused me a lot of trouble earlier this year, or will cause me a lot of trouble in the future. I'm not sure which is correct. Bolt? Damn time travel! Doesn't look all that different before it was pulled apart. Huh. This is a moon ray, I take it, to transport oneself there and back. No, 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 that, that doesn't exist. Not yet, maybe. Wait, will it? Will what? Huh. This gallows is very, uh, strange looking. I see the appeal, though. A hanging here would be visible for miles. We don't do that anymore. What? What do you do with the criminals? Did you send them into politics or business? Continues right now. Could possess them. Is that something I can do? You're a ghost. You already mastered the poltergeist art of stealing things. This is just another skill. And it's safe for you. Hmm. This is fine, I guess. I just wish the family business was something more rock and roll or something. Ah, what a beautiful night for stargazing. Wait, I think I see something. Uh... How do I, uh, how do I possess them, though, is the issue. I'm gonna find some copper and stuff. Excuse me. Has anyone seen my packet, uh, has anyone seen the packet of acorns I brought for Zalthering? Nope. Not me. I brought some chocolate raisins, if that any help. Derek, would you listen to yourself for God's sake? I fear. I have been robbed. Perhaps this is the sign I sought. Yes, this is it. I can feel it in my adorable bushy tail. From now on, I shall be no slave. All the way a slimmer ga uh, summer gathering nuts for the winter. I shall become the master thief and take whatever thought nuts I want. Thank you, mystery person who stole my nuts. You have given me purpose. Now we go up top. Arrow there. Nope. Okay. Arrow's gone. Alright. We've got quite a few items. Oh, I need the broken torch for the sunlight. Okay. Offer and think stuff. Uh, Jurassic era. I can use the sword to dig a hole here. Okay. Place some acorn seeds. Show her the carbon footprint of all this time travel stuff. They have planted a tree. Who's the vandal now? Probably still you. Only time will tell. Good. We're going to be fucking around with time. I old bucket that mulch. Uh. Oh yeah, it's crazy about that whole Microsoft buying Activision thing. They're gonna be like one of the biggest game companies ever now. They own, oh, they own, and now they own Halo, COD, and uh, like it's just the list of things that they got is massive. A oh, behind ten cent Sony, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, oh, trees. An oak forest sprung up. I say sprung up, but it took millions of years to grow. Oh, the sun's on the far side. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What can I do with the tree? Huh. You see someone's already chopping down the trees. Yes, for the boat. I sent Hildegard off to chop some wood for us. It should have the old boat back in the open waters from Morgasaur. In case our non-Viking ghosts listen, Morgasaur is what we call January, wherever January is. The gods had sent us new land to spread the word and begin new lives. Well, not fair. They sent him here to die. <laughs> I still like that. I can take this now that's unguarded. You can. But do you really want to? Yes, I do. Alright. Oh, yeah, because now the termite thing shouldn't be there because we took the infested wood. 
Since their ship's leaving, there will no longer be a, a bust up on top of the, the hill. Yep, I bust a drum. Please, don't take the working drum. I feel like I'll be here a long time, and I need some distraction. Can't rob a man of his post-dying wish. You're admiring the chef's mighty wooden goose, yes. It's okay to feel intimidated. We cannot all stick massive ducks on the front of our long ships. If it were so simple, we'd all be chiefs. How did you get back here? Okay. okay kill the guards over there. Huh, I'm just going to lean over and hope they spot us. Tyan, did you bring a broken drum with you? No, you told me to leave my drum at home and focus on the sky. Besides, leaving a broken, uh, bringing a broken drum sounds like a pointless thing to have done. Yet there is a broken drum beside you, eh? Nah, that's not mine. It's got weird markings all over. I only have cool eagles and wolves etched in mine. Kids today. If it's not yours, then perhaps it's a gift from the bearded men who think boats go on land. It's broken, though? Not a great gift. Tyan, they don't know how boats work. Don't expect too much from them. Wise. Come, let us fix it for them. What do you think of these truly sick beats? Well, the drum certainly is mended. <laughs> that sounds like my drum. It is my drum, and you're rocking out with it. Come, my new friends, let's jam. What's she saying, father? I think she wants to communicate through the international language of rock. Musical, music really is great, isn't it? Many people express themselves and communicate regardless of language. If you love it so much, why don't you take it home and smooch it? You know, I just might. I got music! <laughs> I don't know what they're saying to one another, but I like them. Maybe we'll stay here after all. I see you can match this racy rhythm. Haha, <laughs> yes. Hogarth himself couldn't match those powerful beats. But try these as he slaps on your wet Richards. Maybe I was wrong. Perhaps it's good to bring in lengthening days with music for Ribble. It's so loud I can't see the stars. Let us just join us, Father. You know what? I just might. It's just nice being a ghost and not feeling the cold. But then you can't enjoy drying off and warming yourself up by a roaring fire. Ah, music. Big fan. I created the characters Gilbert and Solvin, you know. Those are real people. Real people that I created. Huh. I hope Dewey's taking care of me good, uh, taking good care of me back there. Well, this is the detective's essence. I better be extra careful not to drop. Oh, no. Ah, uh, only joking. I never dropped this. This is our little secret, okay, corpse? <laughs> All right, turn the first millennium. Uh, the period of time should have changed. Huh, where's everyone gone? Somebody's been further chopping our trees. It should make sense they didn't survive to my time. No, I was lucky to avoid the salmonella the first time. Don't fancy a double for nothing bad. Good, you're too transparent. I don't want to see that stuff worm its way uh, out in either direction. Imagine if there was some kind of parallel world to this one. People there might be in Puritan. I conjures up quite the image, eh? Honk, honk. Shut up, dog. I'm in charge now. Honk. Not to nitpick, but it's hard for me to see how they've made things better here. Noble fellows. Uh, Witch finder General McKing. Of course, if McKings would it be related to this fucker. Noble fellows, this woman doth be accused of celebrating merriment and mirth and Christmas as a whole. Can she not sit in her home waiting for spring to come, so that she may be miserable and judgmental whilst being few degrees warmer? This not this egg of hers brings once warmth, uh, much warmth, doth it? Well, she'd like it warmth so much, mayhap she'll enjoy being set on fire. I could save you the hassle and tell you I wouldn't like that at all. She brought misery on herself, what with her festive cheer and general non-miserableness. Aye, it's all too much joy for me. Can she not find sustenance in sorrow like us doth? Suffer not the person who likes Christmas to live. Ah, greetings again, traveler. What happened here? Well, they saw me speak into the air. Not a great look these days. That atop my festive celebra uh, celebrations, they've never had the best spirit. Or too much for them. So they built this pyre, merrily, I might add. From the forest that's always been over there, and here we are. We sweep my cat and house, but not one to the other. Alright, we can go back in time and save her. 
If we go to the turn, the oh fuck, it's walked again. Hmm. I can still but still go back to the prehistoric times, and I go and I can still go back to the Jurassic era. Can't go back to the turn of the first millennium. Huh. Let's jump ahead a little further into the Gilded Age. The language transcending properties of music. Huh. And reason. Got gingerbread. I've got eggnog. I got a Yule log. That's three out of four. Music. Universal language brings us together, express ourselves, and separate what makes us different. Same and what makes us different. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to fire. Uh, gingerbread extract. A piece of gingerbread, which represents two things. Food, which is a staple of gatherings. It represents ginger as a poor building material. I think I need to add more seasonal elements. Uh, eggnog. Eggnog, which represents bad choices. Sort of. Gathering for drinks, which is often leads to bad choices. The dark side detected me wants to clarify that people can meet for coffee, hot chocolate, tea, water, sodas, and a whole range of non-alcoholic drinks, too. I think I need to add more seasonal. Yeah, okay. Jules. Jules Log, which represents his faith. Which I need to add more. Okay. What are we missing? We're missing one thing, and I don't know what it is. Uh, something with Jurassic. Swampland. Oh, shit. What the hell? What a lot of dragons. I hope they don't bring ghost fire. What are you talking about? I secretly always wanted to write fantasy. Look at all these dino babies having fun. They're using these stones as rudimentary toys. I'm taking one. Who will think this is adorable? At least, he will before he comes to his sense and tells me dinosaurs never existed. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. Wait, he looks like somebody I know. Hi, Proto Nigel. Dino babies. <laughs> this sort of toy represents coming together of friends and family. Putting a lot of that funny shaped lump of material. A uh, lot on that funny shaped lump of material. Is everything okay at home? Alright, we'll, uh, we'll. That should be the fifth one. Nigel? It was Nigel. Throw them with your tour, symbolizing friends, family, and play. Something's happening. Worked. Not again. Look, it's Christmas. I don't work on Christmas. That explains a lot, actually. All right, Chuck. Maureen. You know one another? I thought we did. Maureen, please, not now. It was a slander piece. I bore my soul to you, and you turned it into a storybook. It's considered a masterpiece. It was my life. Uh, this is awkward, but can I ask you to come with us? Why? I'll tell you what I told the judge. I don't know how those guns or those bodies got into the trunk of my car. Do you even have a warrant? I... I think she's not going to come with us, will I need you to come somewhere with me. I have a job for you. No, please. I already said I don't work today. Sorry, I really need this. Where Where did you get that SUU from? How have you even done an immaterial handling course? Have you even done an immaterial handling course? Help! Alright. So, you two have a history? We are history. Hurry, right, please. It was a hundred years ago. If I had a shilling for every time I had to trap an ex-lover in a magical can after harvesting the past for story fodder, I'd be... Well, I'd still be dead. What were we talking about? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm from a musical family, not some boring bunch of sky nerds. Oh. Huh. I wonder what's out there. I'll give up on my raid of festive fear if you get me down from here. Wait. Okay, wait. 
That was Krampus. We faced him in another, like, like, case. Maybe this Mr. Crap is real. I think I'll consider a career in TV to let the people know. And to make bank. That was fun. We should summon more stuff more often. Or I don't know. We can just hang out. Derek, stop being so needy. That was a brief, if, uh, that was as brief as it was life-changing. Uh, so we got her. Uh, what do we gotta do with Do we must be freezing without a jacket. Another sugar detective? Oh, do we? I shan't. I'm developing a bit of a pudgy tum-tum. I wish I was trim and powerful like you. I keep telling you, detective. It's simple maths. Calories in, and then you multiply those calories by the square root of something else, and take away whatever you burn at the gym. A little bit of tip. I get Emily to burn stuff for me at the gym. It's more efficient. Anyway, then you do more number stuffs, and you'll be buff like me. Easy. So we've got recent history done. What am I going to do with you? I, I saw the mulch, I just don't know what to do with it. Some salty primordial soup. I'll take some life-giving broth. All this time, uh, jumping is hard on the body. I have salty liquid, now I need to find some zinc and copper to make a battery-ish thing for this torch. Zinc and copper. Shit, what the hell am I gonna get copper and zinc? I'll put this infested weird wood here and hopefully that term out to make a platform that I can use to trick the sunlights in from the future. I don't think it works like that, Detective, but... Look, I can already see they're checking out the new home. There won't be side effects, will there? Introducing these little critters millions of years before they were meant to be here? Nah, they're gonna be burned alive soon anyways. Sorry, Dino. What? <laughs> I wish this would hurry up. I worry about what Dooley's doing to keep himself entertained through all this. See, I'm not here alone. It's not scary. <laughs> All right. Um... The copper and ink, and it's got to be the Gilded Age, right? Oh, wait. Oh, something changed. Termite mound is tall enough to shine a light from. Power at first. Christmas bells. That's it. That is too many notes. Let's see what we can do to fix this. Fix some copper bells. I have salty liquid and copper. Now I just need some zinc to make my... Uh, torch battery work. I think it's ink. That sounds more like the Christmas jingles I know. Alright. Uh, okay. Get a recent history. It's ink.
Two copper bells used to sound off key notes. Can I use them with swamp water? I have salty liquid and copper and think. Yeah, but I don't know how to get stink. Hey, kitty kitty. Don't kitty kitty me. I'm the Archduke of Hell. What? Uh, meow? I think these people could do with a little help in appreciating the seasonal cheer. What up, witches? I'm here to slather you in festive cheer. I say, though, before we light the pyre, like I did that smell, I did like the smell of a nog. I and our singing was most careless. If we're being frank, it they did lift up an otherwise dreary time of the year. Yes, mayhap, so we were too hasty in our fervor to burn this woman. Let us instead release her and drink deeply of her nog egg. I we shall dance it. And singeth, and argue about politics instead. Thank you, Travel. How can I repay you for your help in this day? You know where I'd find Zinc? Nope, sorry. Oh. Find me again, I'll have what you need. Oh? Oh. <laughs> this is why I got into the job. That and I failed my medical exam. Well, we have this large pride fire. Anyone fancy up a try and uh, roast up a goose hut? Hey! I like the color red. I prefer blue. Gotta pick a third color. A third color? Ah, what an idiot. Aw. Imagine if there was some kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we see. Alright, that's all done. I hope he's... You know what? I'm not... I don't want to think about it. Oh, this is cheerier. It is cheerier. Which is brew. You'd be cursed not to have some. Oh, I missed the depressing factory. At least now I'm uh, somewhere to drown my sorrows. Hey, normal house. Oh, look at its little hat. It still has a knife, but it's less menacing now that it has a fun hat on. What will we do with all this time my employer's given? Oh, I know. Could you, me, and my normal amount of bones go sledding? Sledging? Slaying, maybe. I I'm poor and I don't know those kind of words. However, it's spelled. Let's go. Ah, say they live in a real house now. Exactly. You and they are welcome. You didn't help. My tale of morality kept you on the straight and narrow. If it wasn't for me, you'd be back here, licking their chimney in a sugar rage. Welcome. I've been expecting you. How are you still alive? It's easier than you might think. The secret is not dying. I have your zinc, which, for anyone wondering, is cofactor of enzymes involved in alcohol production and also plays a role in extra <laughs> extracellular activity. That's very specific. Did you look it up on Wikipedia? I don't know what that means, but a hundred years before computer. Oh well, thanks. Well, I have everything I need. I just bought these two metals in salt water and hook it up with the cables I happen to already have on me to keep the puzzle from dragging out. And hey presto, we have a makeshift battery. That's some yeah, yeah, I didn't click on that. I swear to god I didn't click on that. Alright. Bit clunky, but we have light. Stay away from the light! Ah, a bit of death humor for you there. Please don't stay from the light. I don't want to have to hunt you down. Got a super torch. Alright. Wait. Does that have to climb up here and get the angle right? This should do it. It has happened, you. Oh, I do hope you could see this from wherever you okay people weave the dead go. I can see it, Bunko. I can. It brings ghost tears to my ghost eyes. Come, creepy old man. You can take me to the afterlife now. This life has given me all I seek from it. the soul harvested. Wait till the chaps at Gentlemen's Society of Soul Scavengers say, alright, I did this all by myself. Hey, sorry, but you're definitely not getting, you're definitely getting cut in the edit. Come, let us go now. Now that I have honored him, her, them, Brightball Skinburn will no doubt shower me with accolades and whatever is to come next. What you did was a thing of beauty. I sort of wish I had helped a bit now. We can go through now. Finally, I was starting to sober up there for a moment. I made it to the back office. It's like a bomb hit this place. Oppenheimer was here with his nuclear daiquiris earlier. Honestly, if I wasn't dead, they'd have killed me. What is this place? It's an office of so a sort of any, uh, a sort of one, anyways. I see. In Brightball Skyburn lives here. Uh, right. This is where you and I part, dear boy. I assume we're pre uh, presuming we're heading back to the world of living soon. That's the plan. Thanks for your help. Can't tell you, you know, office policy. Tell me what? How long you have left? I assumed you were going to ask. Mortals usually do. Oh, hadn't occurred to me. 
I think I'd like to know anyways. Oh, that's just as well. <laughs> ah, who's this glowing chop then? Pleased to meet you, sir. This is where the bad souls go. Really? Mm. <laughs> Calendar has one dead on it, which reads, now. Is this the ghost of a tree? Hey, that took me minutes to get right. It's empty. We don't need water, but it really sells the humdrum of the office. Let's do the bar tap room Christmas party. No wonder you're drunk. They're not sleeping off the party, you know. They passed out from overexposure to admin long before things kicked off. You slept through all that ruckus? Enough paperwork and you could sleep through the literal end of the world. Alright, just need to move the system on to the next number and things will start flowing again. Alright, now open this up and see if I can update a number. Uh, looks like each number is made from three segments. You need to find the right combo to move the display up to the 324. Oh, that should be display updated. Now, displays move forward. Next ghost in line can be processed. After the holidays, you mean? After the... Oh. Looks like things largely worked out for old Chuck, unless... You won't tell anyone, will you? About my screw-up. Hmm, maybe we can strike a deal. Oh, we don't mind the extra mounts to feed. They had nowhere else to go. When you brought all them, these guests back home, I wasn't sure we'd have enough fruit for everyone. Thanks to this house was built on an old avatar, so there's enough turkey ghosts to go around. <laughs> Detective, can't thank you enough. Not exactly what you wanted, but it's something. I cannot live forever, Detective. Been able to come back for the holidays to see my Gary and Gerwin. It means the world to me. Anyway, I best go spend what time I have with them before I have office opens. I moved on. Have a good one. It's one thing I don't understand. Why didn't you just get the uh, missing ticket from Gary and just give it to somebody you want to go home? You know, instead of going on this elaborate journey, fix a not broken machine. Guys, you're not answering. Eat up, everyone. <laughs> All right. I really wanted to get that uh, the case all done with.